it going? And this is Max from Unsubscribed Healthcare. I just want to go over a real quick way to do a timesheet. Um, somebody was asking on one of the groups what was a good uh, good way to do this, make it nice and organized. This is the way that I came up with. Um, I think that it's a pretty easy way to do it. Um, so let's go no further. So what you want to do is you want to make a new timesheet. The idea is that you're going to have uh, each employee has their own form, their own Google form that they would fill out. That way it's nice and easy to track, but you have it all on the same worksheet. Um, the way that you would do that is that you're going to come up here into tools and create a new form. All right, so now we have the new timesheet. Right. I just have that pre-made so I can put it on my other screen so that we can see what the questions were. Um, but what you're gonna do is in this area, you're gonna do what kind of time um, this is just a quick example showing you guys what you can do here for the options we can have regular overtime sick vacation holiday unpaid and other All right just quick ones that you want to do next you're gonna plus press the plus button and I'm sorry if you hear my son in the background uh, daycare was closed today so he is in the back with me um, next you can do name just to confirm their name um, but you're only gonna send each one of these sheets to one of your employees and that way they only have to worry about one um, as well the cool thing about these Google Forms is that you can see as I typed in date it automatically knows that it needs to be a time and date same here when I click start time you can see that it is now a time so that when an employee uh, puts in a start time or an end time they have to do both the hours and uh, a.m. or p.m. that they started um, you could also do something like I certify that these hours are true to the best of my knowledge Check this box if the hours are true. All right, and again, you can make any of these required or not. Um, so that's just the basic idea of it. If we come back here and we go to our timesheet, <clears throat> now you can see that form three has been uh, made. So I'd come here and I would rename this based off of who it was, uh, you know, say Bob Ross. This is my employee. And then what I would do is that I would come back to the form and I would click send and you can either email this sheet for them to fill out or you can uh, copy this link and have them, uh, you know, just click on that link. But that way they would just have it over and over again and they could keep filling it out. So this is what it would look like when they fill it out. Choose regular time. This is for Bob. Okay. We're gonna come here, click on the date. We'll say it was for today. Say he started at work at 8 a.m. and he ended at 5 p.m. All right, he clicks submit. If he forgot to do them earlier in the week or last week, you could easily do submit another response, right? But this way, when he does that, now you can see it has been submitted, right? and the hours are there. It shows you when he submitted it, and then it shows you the hours that he worked. Um, obviously, we would want it to be PM. That can be changed there. And if we wanted to calculate the hours for us, that's pretty easy to do as well. You just have to format it a little bit. So you do total time worked. You're going to click Format. Come down here to Number and do Duration. All right, 
For this, we would use a little array formula, so that way it carries through for all of the boxes. That way you don't have to keep typing this formula over and over again. So we're going to click Array Formula, and all we're going to do is click F2 to F, and it highlights the whole column, right? Or we'll just do F2 uh, minus uh, E2. That should do it. Right? So you can see that if you just do it that way, it's just going to do that one box. If we wanted to do all of the boxes, we're going to do F2 colon F, E2 colon E, and now you're going to see that it goes through the whole entire thing. So that if he submits something else, then it's going to uh, put in right underneath that. You know, we'll calculate it automatically. So let's do that again. We'll say that it's regular. It's Bob. He worked hard. He worked on Sunday. He worked from 8 a.m. to, you know, 1 p.m. Okay, it's been submitted. Come back here, and you can see that it submits right there. And, oh, you would want to format the whole entire column. That's why that didn't work. So format, again, make it a duration. All right, and you can see now that it says five hours that he worked. Um, but that would be an easy way to calculate the hours worked as well as, um, you know, see, you know, just having it for one person and having them use it over and over again. But that was just my idea and my thought on it. Uh, let me know what you think. Again, Max from Unsubscribed Healthcare. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the videos for more helpful videos. Thanks so much.